the Moscow Popular Science Film Studio presents Attention, Weightlessness. The film contains exceptional material shot on experimental flights to study weightlessness. By their wonderful feats, the Soviet astronauts have blazed for mankind the road to outer space. Space exploration requires a scientific solution of many problems. One of them is weightlessness. Can a man live and work beyond the Earth's gravitational pull in the fantastic state in which all bodies become weightless? If a thousand kilogram weight should be sent up into space, its heaviness will steadily decrease as it gets farther and farther away from the Earth. For in accordance with the law of gravitation, the force of attraction diminishes as distance increases. Finally, somewhere far away from the Earth, it'll become entirely weightless so does every atom of an astronaut's body and of all the things around him. Even on Earth, we occasionally experience weightlessness. When we jump or drop from a height, our body becomes sort of weightless. Longest of all in this state on Earth is a parachute jumper in a delayed drop. He is weightless in the first few seconds of his free drop until the resistance of the air holds him up. It's however very difficult to carry out comprehensive scientific investigations in a few seconds, moreover in conditions of danger. Therefore, scientists have found another way of creating weightlessness. This state can arise in a curved path. As for example, when rockets fly around the Earth. In such a flight, a rocket is subjected to the action of two forces. The centripetal force of terrestrial attraction and the centrifugal force which casts the rocket away from the Earth. At a speed of 8 kilometers per second, the first cosmic velocity, these forces become equal, cancel each other, and weightlessness sets in. To achieve weightlessness at a lesser speed, a body has to be made to fly in a curved path of a smaller radius. This can be done with an airplane. When flying in such a curved path, the plane and everything in it is weightless. A plane for such an experimental flight is ready. Its first passengers were scientists and a cameraman. Everything that took place in the flying laboratory was recorded on film. Each shot presented valuable material for studying the hitherto practically unknown phenomenon of weightlessness. You'll now see these scientific documentaries which had been shot long before the first manned spaceflight. Attention.
Weightlessness. Weightless air has ceased to turn the fan. The candle has gone out. Carbon dioxide has choked its flame. A match has acquired the properties of a jet engine. A liquid spreads about the walls of the vessel, leaving air bubbles in the middle. Outside the vessel, water forms a sphere. Everything is strange and fascinating in the unknown state of weightlessness. A homing pigeon is stunned. It's lost its orientation. A cat, on the other hand, flies like a bird. The first experiment on a human being. Dozens of sensors record the functioning of the heart and lungs. Instruments show that the heart and respiration return to normal in a few seconds. A man's condition in the state of weightlessness depends on his vestibular apparatus situated in the inner ear. It's a sort of compass for orientation in space. The two otolith sacs contain tiny crystals connected with the terminus of the vestibular nerve. Stimulated by the pull of gravity, the crystals press on the terminus of the nerve, causing streams of impulses which tell the brain the position of the body in space. In a state of weightlessness, the crystals cease to press on the nerve. The impulses change, and a man loses his orientation for a short while. Animals lose it for an indefinitely long time. Being in a state of weightlessness, they turn round and round try to get into a normal position, but fail to do so. What would happen if the otolith sacs were removed? Such experiments were carried out. The lower guinea pig has had its otolith sacs removed and while still on Earth, had got used to orientate itself with the aid of other sense organs. Now, in the state of weightlessness, it's quite calm. In this experiment, the otolith sac has been removed from the lower fish, but not from the upper ones. This is how they behave in weightless water. During the flights, it was important to find out whether a man could work with sufficient accuracy in a weightless condition. As in this state, the most common work movements become extremely complicated. To press a button, one has to lift up and stretch out his hand. In this movement, the hand's pull of gravity increases. We automatically perform this movement by force of habit. In a state of weightlessness, the hand is weightless but the habit remains the same, so the finger should go up above the button. Strange, in a weightless condition, the man presses the button without missing. 
What's the reason? The reason lies in his eyes. They govern the movement of his hand, disregarding the force of habit. Now the man has closed his eyes, and by force of habit, developed over many years, his hand reaches out above the button. Astronauts will have to develop in many long hours of training many new habits to meet the lack of gravitational pull. They'll have to get used to many things. Water must be handled carefully. It doesn't flow but drops out in little globules. In space, one can drink water only from a tube or through a straw. Tests were also carried out to see whether a man in a weightless condition could undress and dress, and take off his parachute harness. In this strange condition, heavy special gear doesn't in the least restrict a man's freedom of movement. Even before the astronauts, scientists themselves experienced free swimming in a pool of weightlessness. This girl is for the first time in a state of weightlessness, and she feels fine. However, only a few people can stand this state so well without special training. It was the astronauts who became the real champions of the pool of weightlessness. They all trained in it, learned to control their bodies, coordinate their movements, orientate themselves in space. Muscular strength practically doesn't diminish in a weightless condition. While hovering in a weightless condition, a man writes in the most unusual positions but his handwriting hardly changes. In a state of weightlessness, a man has a feeling of falling headlong into an abyss. The feeling is so real that it's very hard not to be overcome by the fear of falling. Training taught the astronauts to control their bodies and senses. They soon even found it pleasant to swim in the pool of weightlessness. One's body becomes wonderfully light and one is able to move about in space in any direction. The experiments in the flying laboratory have helped Soviet scientists to make notable progress in studying the difficult and interesting problem of weightlessness and prepare the first manned space flights.
Authors A. Gorov and E. Yugov. Photographed by G. Anikin, V. Nikitenka, and A. Trishkov. Sound recorded by V. Kutuzov.